Comedy Bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvendril, and in this video we are going to be uh, retrieving data from a TXT file, uh, modifying that data, and saving it to another file. Okay, so we are going to use Python to do that because it's cool, because Python is interesting, or any other language for that matter, as long as you know how to code and how to make things. Okay. So this is my desktop, as you can see the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. And in the last video, this one over here, generate and save data to a TXT file using, of course, Python. If you're interested in that, the link is going to be in the video description below. So in this one, I have generated some MAC addresses data, can be anything, can be um, IP addresses, can be phone numbers, email address, or anything that you might need. So doing that, I save it to a file. So now we are going to retrieve that file and we're going to modify it because that the data we have in there is not standardized. I cannot use it somewhere else. Okay. So again, the video is going to be in the video description below. So before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So next, this is my IT workshop. If you scroll down, this is my YouTube channel, I'm sorry. And you can see that I have many videos about automation in Python. So for network, uh, if you want to automate many things like connecting to a Cisco device, because Cisco is what I use most of the time. And you, you can see I have many things here. Okay, so if you're interested in this, the playlist for Python is in the top right of this screen. So now I have already opened, I have created a new file uh, using the Python. Uh, GUI, you can use VS Code or PyCharm, anything that you like, as long as you are able to code. So this one is called, uh, it's called, it is called read from TXT. So in this one, uh, we're going to do all the code. Uh, this is the, this is my uh, folder, Python TXTs, and this is the one that we have generated last in the last video. So these are MAC addresses, as you can see over here. Can, again, can be anything, can be phone numbers, email address, anything that you need. So for this, I, I'm doing this example, this script, because um, in, my, in my job a few days ago, I had to re reserve around 70, 70 uh, MAC addresses with IP addresses. So, uh, and this format was not the correct one. So I had to use another format. So let me show you really quick. So this is the format I have. As you know, MAC addresses can be represented in many ways. So this is the one I had, I have right now, and I had to convert it to this one, something like it. So instead of uh, dashes, I needed uh, columns and all the letters had to be lowercase. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in this video. As you can see, all the letters are capitals. I have to turn them into lowercase. You can do this one by one manually, but it's going to take a lot of time. So a quick script is, in my opinion, faster to do, uh, especially if you have, let's say, 1000 um, things that you need to change. So we're going to be using this file. It's called generated MAC addresses. I'm going to close it or you can have any other document that you have. Okay, so that's not really a big issue. So now we're and we're going to save it to this file, standardized MAC addresses. As you can see, it's empty. So let's go to code. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to open the folder. So well, not the folder, the file. So open and all this path has to be between quotation marks. So I need this path where the uh, document, where the file that I want to open is located. So I'm going to do this. This has to be between quotation marks like this. And the name of the file, oh, yeah, of the TXT file is generated MAC addresses. So I don't know what I did that. So right click rename and I'm just going to copy it. So like that, I believe it was showing for me over there. And the other thing we have to change is if you leave it like this, it's not going to work. We need double um, backward slash when we are trying to, um, to indicate a path, the extension as well, txt. So then um, it's not that, it's comma. We have to do, we have to type R to read the file and then as uh, read. So we need all this is a Python syntaxes. So with open, this is the, the path. What we want to do, we want to read it. And as read it, this can be anything. This can be uh, this one, this can be E, this can be any variable. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to call it reader, but can be anything. So now, once I have access with this uh, line, I'm going to open this uh, file. 
So now that I have it open, I have to do something with it. So I want to save every line in a list. Okay. So for that, oh, we need a list that we haven't created. So I'm come here. I go here, and I create a list. List of blanks. You can call it anything that you may like, but I'm calling it this way. List of max. So it's going to be empty because it has nothing in it yet. So now I'm going to go line by line. As you, I'm going to show you one more time. So I generate the MAC addresses. As you can see, I have 30, I believe, or something like that. And every line, um, well, it's an element. <laughs> every line is a MAC address. So I'm going to go line by line. So for that, I have to go for any variable, line, reader, which is this guy over here. That And now comes the Python uh, syntaxes for this. Read lines. So like that. So with this line, I'm going to read line by line. And I forgot the in over here for line in. So what do I do when I read every line? I have to do something to, with it. I'm going to save it to this empty list. So I'm going to copy this list so I don't have to type it every time. And um, append. So this is to save every element in the list, in the empty list. So line. So I want to say, er so it's going to uh, loop it's, I'm calling it line, can be anything, uh, through every element of this um, um, of this txt file. So then I'm going to append it or add it to this empty list. Okay, so that's how we do that. And now uh, we're going to test it. So print a list of max. So I save it, I'm going to run it. And as you can see, I have access to the folder, well, to the file. So I'm going to open it so you can see it really quick. So where is this? Over here, generated MAC addresses. Over here, so let's put this down. And as you can see, uh, the first element is 429A. So we have it here. And we have all the elements in this from this file. So I'm calling all these elements. I open the file and I save every line on a, on a list. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And now we know it's working. So the next thing, we don't really need the print because I mean, I, I'm, it, that's, that's just to test and to show you that it's working. So I'm going to print. This is not needed because we're going to print in a few more things to test our file. So this is going to print two, uh, two enter lines or one, two. That's what this is doing. So, so since we're going to print many things, we don't want to mess up. So now we have to change three things here in this. Um, List. So let me open this again. Where is this guy? Python, generate MAC addresses. So like I mentioned, let me copy this. I'm going to close this over here. So this is what we have right now, correct? And now I have to change it to a more readable format. Why? Because the system where I wanted to introduce these MAC addresses, where I wanted to do the reservation, doesn't accept, accept it, the data this way. So the data has to be like this. Dun, dun. So it has to be like this. And everything has to be lowercase. Every letter has to be lowercase. Well, it's not R, it's E, like this. So we have to do those changes. If I add the data that I needed a few days ago like this, well, I tried and it didn't work. It gave me an error. Uh, so I have it to convert it like this. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So, or we are trying to do. So now what we're going to need three fours to do this. Actually two, but I'm going to explain. So the first four is going to replace the dash for column. The second is to replace the space that we have. And the third one is to convert everything to lowercase. Okay, so we're going to do the first. So we're going to need three uh, fours. So and we're also going to need three um, uh, empty list. So my first empty list is going to be called remove dash. The next one is going to call, it's going to be something similar. So we need three. You're going to see what we need, three. Remove line. And the last one is going to be just new max, new mac addresses. So these are empty. And now we're going to start, we're going to start with the four. So the first four is going to be four mac. As you know, this is just a variable, it can be called anything. And remove dash. So like this one over here. And in this one, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to create a variable what we need. Can, you can call it anything that, that you may like. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not in remove dash. I'm making a mistake because this uh, list is empty. 
it has to be in this one for Mac in list of Macs. So we have to replace it, Mac every element. And to do that in Python, we only use the replace method. And this uh, method accepts two variables or two, it needs two things. What do we want to replace, which is a dash, and what do we want to replace it by? So what we want to replace it by is column, right? So what we are doing is we're uh, looping through every element in list of Macs. Every element is called Mac. And then we create a variable called what we need. And Mac, uh, every element is going to be replaced the the dash by a semicolon or okay, no a column so that's what we need and then we are going to do we are going to do kind of what we did here we are going to append it so what's the name of the new list remove the dash we do it append what are we going to append what we need that's what we're going to do and finally we're going to print well not finally <laughs> we're going to print this so this is going to be called remove dash so I save it. I'm going to run it again. Let's see if we have any error and we don't have. So you can see here, this is the original one that we recovered from the TXT file and it, it has dashes, right? Every element ha have a dash. Um, and here it has been replaced by the column. So it's the same, exactly the same, but we have replaced the dash by a column. So the other thing I want to replace is this guy over here. So as I mentioned, this one is for a new line. So I want to delete that new line because then it's going to cause us problems. So we have to replace that as well. So for that, that's why we have remove line. We have space and we are going to technically copy all this. We're going to change a few things. So for Mac in not list of Macs, you know what it has to be? Remove dash because this uh, list is now filled with what we need. So this is, you can keep this, it's the same. It's not going to affect with this one. So also the variable is not going to be affected. You can change it if you, if you want, but it's not needed. So what we need, mag replace, and we have to replace this guy for nothing, right? And then remove dash, no, we have to save it to remove line. So that's the new list that we have to use. So remove line, append what we need. So, and then we are going to well, we don't really need remove dash because we have seen what it has. So we're going to call, we're going to print remove line. So save it, run it. And as you can see here, uh, this one is giving us uh, the same, but we don't have the dash and we don't have this over here. We don't have the extra line. We don't have it. Okay. So, so far it's working. And now we have to do the last step for removing things. We have to convert everything to lowercase. So, this is the third and final four. So we're going to copy paste the same. We keep the same variable for Mac in remove dash. No, it has to be now remove line. So we do this remove line. What we need, we can keep the variable. And this is where we're going to change. So it's going to be Mac. Oh, we don't need all of this. We don't need all of this. Mac dot lower. So with this uh, method or function, we're going to convert everything that is capital into lowercase. So then we're going to save everything. We're going to append it to the final list. New Mac append what we need. And now we're going to print this new, uh, this new um, list, new Macs, which should contain everything that we actually need. So as you can see here, everything is as we need it now. So the letters are lowercase, here are capital. We don't have the extra line and we don't have the dash. We, it has been replaced by column. So all this is looking great. So the next step now, we, we have done what we need. And as you can see here, we have, I'm going to do this and we have it like this. We don't have it like this anymore. So we don't need this. And the next step is to save all that we have generated, we have changed to this um, list over here. No, not list, to this file, which is called standardized MAC addresses, okay? So I'm going to copy this because we're going to need it. Now, for we're going to open the file and write to it. So we are going to start with open, like we did at the beginning of this video. And well, what am I doing this? I can copy this <laughs> from here. So, let me just copy all of this until here. So for, did I, 
copy everything. Yes. So now, of course, we have to change this, which is going to be standardized MAC addresses. So rename, I copy the name, and I put it over here, um, standardized MAC addresses. So now, instead of reading, we are going to write, so W. Write, and as I mentioned, this can be anything. I'm going to change it to F. Can be any, really, really can be anything. And now we are going to do a for. For E, again, can be anything. Uh, here I use Mac, just a variable. Here I'm going to use E. For E, in where? In the new list, because that's what we need. We have the list populated, and we have to eat, look through every element in this list, and save it to the um, to the file called standardized MAC addresses. So for that, I'm just going to use the fun well, this method. What, what do you call this? The syntax is from <laughs> Python. So that's what that's how we save uh, the information. So what I'm doing here is I'm opening the file. This time, not as read, because I don't want to read. I want to write to it. So that's why I'm using uh, W. Then uh, for every element in this list, I'm going to save every element in this file. So that's how you do it. I'm going to show you one more time. A standardized MAC addresses, it's empty. There's nothing in it. So I'm going to save it and let's see if we have any error. So we don't have any error. As, you, as I mentioned, we don't need this. It's just to test it that it's working. And now I'm going to close it. I'm going to open this guy again and let's see. And as you can see here, something has been written here, but it's not really correct because we have all the MAC addresses. Let me make it a little uh, smaller. We have all the MAC addresses, 30 or something, but they are next to each other, like a long string. And that's not useful to us. For example, this one should be like this, and this one should be like this, and so on. So this is not really ready. So we can um, um, delete everything, or we can just close it. Do you want to save it? Don't save. Because when you type write, it's going to overwrite what the file already has. Okay. If we keep it in, there is another uh, way to do it. If you type 8, it's going to append. It's going to add to what it already has. But we want to replace everything. So W. So what we have to do next is add again the extra line. So for that, as I have done a few uh, minutes ago over here, we need this. So we are going to... Uh, right, we're going to add an space, so like this. So I'm going to save it, run it again. We have that. We can close it. Uh, we can open standardized MAC addresses, and as you can see, now it's more readable. So we're going to compare it with the original um, generated MAC addresses. So this is kind of a mess. <laughs> okay. So this is generated MAC addresses. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. I mean, the same uh, numbers, the same data, but it's um, presented in a different way. So this one has uh, columns and everything is lowercase. In contrast, this one has dashes and everything is a capital letter. Okay. okay. So that's how you do this. That's how, you, that's how we can uh, open a file, mo uh, copy the content to a list. In this case, it can be a string, can be a... A dictionary can be anything that you need, and then we can modify it to make it more readable, more readable for what we need. So that's how you do this um, a small or short script. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.